actor and author Evan Handler is probably best known for his role as Harry Goldenblatt, Charlotte's lovable husband in the Sex and the City TV series and the movies that followed. And most recently, millions of viewers watched him take on the role of lawyer Alan Dershowitz mm -hmm. in the Emmy-winning FX series, The People vs. O.J. Simpson. That won absolutely every award it was up for, every I think. Time. Now Evan is starring on VH1's new scripted show called The Breaks, about the birth of hip-hop in New York City during the 90s. Take a look. Thank you, officer. Good afternoon, detectives. My name is Jonah Aaron, attorney at law. Mr. Van Putten is my client. Any further questions may be submitted in writing, along with a subpoena. Let's go, TV. Well, ho. Great to see you again, but oh, there's something ooh, afoot ooh, here because you're not actually supposed to be a lawyer in that, right? You know, I, I reveal later that I was disbarred uh, <laughs> a decade and a half earlier. That's what you used to be. <laughs> Details. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, finessing the truth. Tell right. us about this series. I mean, with the 90s, you and I remember the 90s. We all probably do quite well. I was living in the East Village in the 1990s. So you remember in, in a different 1990, kind of 90s. Yes. Um, yeah, a different East Village, that's for sure. Uh, the Breaks is all about the, the, the bloom of the hip-hop uh, movement, the, the, the really burgeoning uh, explosion of, of the industry of hip-hop, and, and the ways that it then came to influence the culture so deeply. But the, you didn't really ah. live that culture, right? That was you your know, reality? A, a lot of people um, of my uh, uh, strata and background did. It completely passed me by. What were you busy doing then? Uh, well, I was recovering from years of terrible illness, actually. Oh. But I was working on Broadway. I was in six degrees of separation. I was, uh, but, you know, I was still listening to, you know, both Van Morrison, Bob yeah. Dylan, and all the precursors to Sam, 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 Sam Cooke, Noel, Sam, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but Sam Cooke, Ray Charles, uh, uh, James Brown. So I was well versed in that stuff, uh -huh. but this show and the real, um, you know, oomph of the hip hop stuff was something that I was not familiar with, and it, it allowed me to humiliate myself in several ways along the way during during filming. So, what what attracted you to the role? Well, Seath Mann, who, who's the writer, executive producer, and director, um, had worked on Californication with me several wow. times. And, and he invited me to come along, and the script was really good and strong. Mm -hmm. And they have a great group of, of actors that I've been working with, so it's been great. Now, um, is this a continuing series? I'm not, I'm not mm -hmm. familiar with the. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've shot eight episodes so nice that are going to be the first season. All right. Yeah, and who yeah. knows? It could be the new Sex in the City, which lasted a, a little <clears> while, didn't it? A little it? while, a couple of films. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And do people still recognize you, obviously, the most for that? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Is it the type of, the sh of show where, where you will hear, like, the bands? There'll or be a lot of great music. music. A lot of the people on the show are, are terrific musicians and singers themselves. I am the proof that you don't have to be a hip-hop aficionado to love the show. Uh -huh. I, I would be there, and the other actors would show up on days that they didn't work. And I would say, why are they here? Why are they here? Uh -huh. And they'd say, because the guy you're sitting across the table from is T.I. And I and would then very sheepishly go back and realize that it was a legend. Or, or flying back and forth between New York and Los Angeles, realizing that the guy next to me in, in a green velvet tracksuit with lots of jewelry <laughs> talking about music deals was, was uh, uh, Mike Bivens from B Biv DeVoe and, and New Edition. And, it's and, a world and so, that passed me by, so, too. How about you? Are you oh, familiar oh with no, it? Oh, no, I love it. I yeah. love it. And I think that it changed the music industry so yeah, much. This yeah. is going to be fascinating to see how it just swept in and changed everything. Mm -hmm. And the show is really about striving and achieving. Afton Williamson, who plays the lead, is a young woman who shows up and wants to be in the music industry and makes her way, and, and also about a woman achieving in, in, in yeah. an industry and dominated by men. And your character has to suddenly k learn about this new industry and kind of fake your way yeah. in it, Legendary right? and legendary for his sleazy deals, who decides to reinvent himself through the music that his son loves. Well, so. we're, we're happy for you. It's nice to see you again. Thanks. And all the best to your here. parents. You told me they're 80 what and 80? 88 and 84. And just gone strong. God love them. Yep. All right. Thank you so much. My yeah. pleasure. And Thank you can you. catch the series premiere of The Breaks February 20th on VH1. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.